Hey beauties, it's me Cabrina and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title, this is a hair review. So, do not get this picture confused with my first time video because I am sitting down in one session and I am making two videos, okay? I don't have time to Rewrite, makeup, look, hair, outfit, whatever. Y'all gonna get it and I hope y'all love it, okay? So, um, I wanted to come on here and actually talk about this hair that I have been wearing. It's like a pretty curly bob almost. I wouldn't say it's a bob because I didn't cut it in a bob. But the way it curls up, it just kind of forms a bob motion. I've been wearing this hair since March. So, March, April, May, June. Four months almost. And yeah, I thought it was time to come on here and give you guys my honest review, my honest opinion. So before I start the review, I would like to say I paid for this hair with my own coins, okay? I bought this hair with my money. I'm going to give you guys an honest opinion because I spent my money. And even if I didn't spend my money, I'm still going to give you guys my honest opinion, okay? So I got this hair off of um, Amazon. Actually, this is my first time ever purchasing um, hair off of Amazon. I honestly didn't know that Amazon was selling hair. Like, I get on Amazon to look for, like, comforters, house stuff, decorating stuff, you know, stuff like that. So, when I came across um, a YouTube video, because I like to search because I love reviews, and I just typed in um, affordable curly bob. And the Amazon one popped up, and I found a video that I love, and I like the hair, and I like the reviews, and I watch everything, but then I forgot <laughs> what video it was. So I had to go search on my own, and um, yeah, so this is the hair that I got. Um, it, I'm looking on my phone because I have baby brain still, so, mm. but um, this is from, I'm going to butcher the name, Lazara, Lazara. La za la za Yeah La za La za hair that's what I'ma call it La za okay <laughs> so this is from um La za hair I got the um short deep curly human hair lace front with baby hair it said it is pre-plugged um has natural hairline and it's Brazilian Remy Bob now of course the picture that they posted I personally don't know if it's actually their photo because you know like a lot of companies when you go on like Amazon, AliExpress, DHgate, stuff like that. A lot of companies do steal um, photos from actual hairstylists and promote it as in they're using their hair or this is their person, whatever, whatever. So I always like to go to reviews. So when I seen the picture, I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty. And then I seen the price and I was like, that's perfect okay so um the price i bought this hair it was 69 dollars however it's now on amazon for 62 dollars and 98 cents okay save a coin save a coin so yeah um i do have prime so when i ordered it i got it in two days and when it came of course it was like all smushed up together i wish i would have like did um video of it and stuff but when i got the hair i honestly wasn't thinking about um youtube video like i was going out that night so i wanted to spruce it up so um when you get it of course your curls are completely together like this is the hair freshly washed so the curls were tight like everything was flat so i just took my fingers and i went through it and i spray water spruced it up and stuff like that so i did get a 10 inch um it starts I want to say, yeah, I'm looking at it. It starts at a 10 inch. So it goes from 10 inch to a 26 inch. I didn't want, I did, I said I didn't. I did want the um, bob kind of style going on. So I didn't want anything longer than a 10 inch because I wanted it on my um, shoulders. And that's pretty much it. It came with the cap. It came with lashes, of course. I didn't care for the lashes they send. I never used the lashes that, um... I don't care for the lashes that they see in just period like they aren't fashionable to me but I do keep them just because I'm like a hoarder when it comes to makeup stuff but I keep them and that's pretty much it I want to say it came with like a tan cap and then like a little fishnet cap I'm not really sure so um on here 
it says that the hair type is Brazilian hair lace front. It's 100% human density. Um, the texture is deep curly. The lace color is medium brown. The hair density is 130. Um, cap size is medium. It's glueless wigs with four combs and adjustable straps, easy to wear. Now, when I first got the hair, I honestly was like, damn, this hair thin as hell. Like, that's, that's the first thing that went in my mind. But once I put it on and I actually went through it, it fluffed out. Like, I haven't added anything to this hair. Like, no, no more um, extensions in it. None of that. So, it really worked out. And um, I believe the density is true to what they say. Um, the cap size, I didn't have to bleach my cap or bleach my knots or whatever. So, it is like a medium brown. Like, this is... Okay, hold on. Time out, time out. So, before I zoom in on this frontal... Do not judge me, okay? I personally am not good with frontals. I am still learning. But I got the gyps to put it on and keep it moving, okay? So, please don't judge my frontal. Um, as you can see when I zoom in, this has, it has like a little foundation around the um, rim because I just did my makeup. But, this is pretty much the color. I didn't bleach it. I haven't added, um... Like any powder to my part or anything this hair is freshly washed I did wash this hair and I let it um, air dry when I wash my hair I honestly just use whatever shampoo is in the house nine times out of ten is either head and shoulder shampoo or it's like suave um, I don't like to use my like good products on weave just because for me, it's a wig, and I'm going to take it right off, on and off, so there's no need to waste product. That's just my opinion. If you're going to wear, like, sew-ins and stuff, then you need good products, because, of course, you want your hair to last and things like that. But I just use whatever in the house. Now, when I condition it, though, I did use, um, I want to say, I can't even think of the name. I want to say it's Shea Moisture. I think I used their, um, leave-in conditioner, and then I used, um, it's an off-brand curl enhancer that I got from my Dollar General and just rubbed it through just so my um, curls can pop a little more and um, yeah that's it. It does have um, four combs two, three and then one in the back which makes four. It has adjustable straps too where you can pull it tighter. Now with the cap being medium I do have a really small head like a tiny 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 peanut head so um, I had to pull my straps extremely close and then once I um, glued the front on, it holds, but it is loose, like, in the back. But that's just because my head is small. You don't have the option to make um, your wig cap smaller or bigger. It's like, that's just a one-size-fit-all type of thing. So, um, if you're going to get it, I would suggest either braiding your perimeter and sewing it to your perimeter. If you plan on, like, not taking it off and things like that. So, it's your perimeter. Or you can take body pins. And pin it into your um, cap. It's just up to you. I don't pin it because my um, frontal is glued down at the top. So, um, that's pretty much it. I want to say, yes, it is deep curly. It's very um, wavy. I hope you guys can see that. So, it's very curly. The only thing that I can say, um, the texture of the actual frontal is a tad bit looser than like the back but you know when you're your natural your natural hair relaxer your natural hair most curl patterns are two different curl patterns throughout your hair regardless so it really didn't bother me much um i can say i wish the frontal went back just like halfway it stops about right here which is probably normal frontal size but for me i wish it would have went back just a little bit or i should have got a um a full like frontal wig type of thing even though I'm not gonna part it down the back or nothing I would like this part to go back over just a little bit but there's tracks right here so I really can't do much with that um I'm trying to think I think that's really it. oh does the hair shed does the hair tangle well because it is curly hair, it has a um, higher chance of tangling and matting up versus straight or extremely loose wave hair. 
first and foremost let's get that clear when you're natural your hair will tangle up if you do not wrap it up if you do not take care of it, if you do not love your hair it will not act right so the same thing goes for wigs and weave and a lot of people forget that so they get the hair and they wear it all oh, two days three days it's fine and then they come back and say my hair matted up after the fourth day and my hair matted up a week later this this and that but you have to take care of it you have to wrap it up you have to two strand twist it at night you have to put product in it so curly hair is just as difficult to manage as your real hair now with this wig it does tangle and I wouldn't say in mats because mat is when it's like to like balled up together type of thing. But it does tangle um only underneath here, and I think it's more so because the back of the hair is rubbing against like my shirt and my clothes, and then you got a baby diaper bag. I got a, my baby has a book like well, it's not a book bag, but it's like a backpack diaper bag. So then it's rubbing against the diaper bag and stuff like that. So after about three or four days of me wearing it and like just not doing nothing to it just getting up and going of course it's going to um be a little matted up in the back but other than that you know i just me personally i just take a um spray water bottle spray it down brush through it after one week of wearing it well most of the time i take my wig off in like two days honestly <laughs> but after a week of wear, I like to wash it because I will have makeup all around here. And then once I go to lay it, it doesn't look right. And then I want my curls to pop again. So I always wash my hair maybe like a week later, two weeks later, depending on if I'm putting it back in rotation. Like if I done rotated it for about two weeks, it's going to sit out of rotation for at least a week and a half. And then I'll put it back in rotation type of thing. So, um, yeah, other than that, I honestly don't have, like, really anything negative to say, um, besides the small little, um, tangling, but that's what you're going to expect with, um, curly hair. Now, if this hair was straight, and it was tangling on day three, I'd have been like, oh, no, no, thank you, goodbye, I'm good, thank you, next, okay? But, because it is curly hair, you, um, it's more high maintenance, so it's, to be expected and plus the price that i paid for the hair like in your mind you can't expect to get a full frontal wig and um for sixty dollars and then expect it to be the most holy grail hair in the world no ma'am no sir no thank you it doesn't work okay so yeah um that's pretty much it i'm not gonna ramble on too much um, these hair jewels that I put in, I actually got from my local beauty supply store, and they are so cute. I haven't worn them in a while, but I was like, let me spruce it up, because I'm always just playing with this hair. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I did not film a look on these eyes, okay, y'all? I was trying something new. Didn't know if I liked it, liked it, but then didn't like it, yada, yada, yada. But, oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to ramble on too much. I hope you guys check out this company. I'm going to give y'all the company one more time. Let me, let, me, let me pull it back up. Okay. So, make sure you guys check out um, Liza Hair Company. That's what I'm calling it, Liza. Sorry if I'm butchering y'all name. But Liza Hair Company, um, this is not a sponsored review. This is just my honest opinion. I've worn the hair for about almost four months now so i can give you guys my honest opinion of how i like it and things like that um so yeah i just wanted to tell you guys about the hair and i thought it was cute and i thought i looked cute so i'm gonna get a little some 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 i'm gonna link um the actual like the direct link to the hair that i purchased down below in my description box um, if you guys want to, I always highly recommend that you go and you check out other reviews on the hair as well because some people may not find the hair as good as I found it. Or some people might like it even more than I like it. Always make sure that you check the customer reviews that are on the um, web profile under the hair as well. Like I always make sure that I'm checking out the customer reviews. If they don't have no photos of their customer reviews i'm not buying it that's just me personally and um yeah that's pretty much it i guess i'm going to end the video uh if you guys want like a kind of like a guide on how to buy cheap let me not say cheap 
Because definition of cheap is different. So, um, if you want to a guideline on how to find affordable, there we go, affordable hair from like AliExpress and DHK, Amazon, stuff like that. It's just tips on what I look for when I purchase the hair. Because honestly, every time I purchase hair from the site, I've never really had just like horrible hair. Um, it's been hair that I've purchased from actual like physical in-person people that I have not liked. So um, yeah, it's just a small guideline, something simple, something easy. I can make a video on that for you all. So if there's anything that you guys want to see from me, any suggestions, any recommendations on type of videos and things like that, make sure you comment down below and I promise to check them out and see what's up. See and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it because I will sit here and ramble about nothing okay nothing so um yeah i want to thank you guys for watching this video i appreciate it so much don't forget to like comment and please subscribe if you're already subscribed tell a friend to subscribe we want to grow this channel and i will see you in the next one bye